we're going to use a multidisciplinary approach. What that means is when young people come into our facilities, we're going to focus on assessing them to understand their individual needs. We have to consolidate our population into smaller communities and contract for specific programming that centers around the folks of that community. And I hope this is the last presentation in which I'm addressing programming without our partners that really, it, the future really should be myself and Director Carroll and some other county folks because they, um, I, I'm tapping, I am saying they are better situated and what has been holding all of this back is having an environment in which they could come in with the programming. We are now at a critical point in which we can now turn up the heat to bring in more of those programmings very quickly. Campus Kilpatrick has been spoken about as sort of the model. Would you maintain that that's still the goal? Is that something we are looking to either build out or recreate at other locations? I think it's a fantastic example of small community with a specific goal. Every community that we create will have some commonality. They're small, they have programming that's specific to it, but then depending on the trauma that we're trying to approach, where they are in terms of their release, they'll have different focus. One might be SUD, one might be vocational training, one might be trauma. You mentioned callouts. How are we doing on callouts? It is still at a level that is unacceptable, embarrassing to me personally. We have tried different, we have tried overstaffing so that if things like that occur and there are call outs, we still have sufficient staff. There's a call out culture and regardless of the reasons in, the, in, in an agency like this, it's simply not acceptable at the level. The level of call outs is just something so extraordinary that exists nowhere else that I, I can't, you know, I, I, I can't come before you and say that this is simply at the edges. It may be conversations with the union on different types of schedules so that they can have compressed schedules and have three days off. You know, when folks are hired in the department, you know, what is their expectation? Because this is one of the areas that bothers me the most. From my perspective, I'm not talking about classifications, I'm not talking about, I'm just giving you my perspective on what probation is and what a probation officer is. Mm -hmm. There is no such thing as a juvenile or adult probation officers. Probation officers deal with families and networks of care. Mm -hmm. So whether the identified client before you is an adult or a juvenile is largely irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Because if you're working with juveniles, you're working with their adult family. And if you have an adult client, you're working with the entire family. There is no assignment in which you're a peace officer and anyone should guarantee you that you will never have to do those things. And I absolutely know the need that we have. And I also know that there's no one else coming in to save the day. It is only the staff that we have that can do it.